Hello, and welcome to this video presentation in which we will describe how to split a SQL Server database table into two tables. Splitting a table can be useful for performance optimization and or restriction of data access. In this video, we will focus on the latter using vertical table partitioning, also known as table splitting. In this example, we want to split the employee table from the AdventureWorks 2014 database into two tables to restrict access to the salaried flag column, as it has information about job classification that we want to exclude. Using Apex SQL Refactor, we can accomplish this with the Split Table feature. Select the Human Resources Employee table from the Object Explorer pane, and from the Apex SQL Refactor main menu, under the Other Refactors submenu, select the menu item Split Table. As you can see, the following dialog for splitting the table will be shown. The split table dialog has an option to change the object schema. We will leave this as it is and move on to the new name box. Apex SQL Refactor checks for duplicate names. So, if an object in a specified schema and a name already exists, Apex SQL Refactor will prompt a warning message. So, let's enter a name for the new table we're creating and name it Employee Info. Next, let's select the Join Type from the drop-down box. Here, we have three types of join statements. Inner Join, Left Outer Join, and Right Outer Join to choose for joining the primary and secondary tables. We will select the Inner Join Type. One column needs to be copied from the primary table to maintain referential integrity of the partition table. We will copy the login ID for referential integrity and move the salaried flag column. Changing objects order in the secondary tables can be managed using the up-down icons on the right of the form. If for some reason you want to start over, simply click the Reset All button. Next, we need to specify whether a foreign key should be created on the primary or secondary table. In a one-to-many relationship, a foreign key should be an attribute, column or columns, in the secondary table. Once we finish these steps and click the Preview button, we can immediately preview the generated script in the Generated Script area. If checked, the Include Summary Description option at the bottom of each database refactoring dialog includes the actions and warnings at the beginning of the generated SQL script. If there are some problems detected during the splitting process, the Warnings tab will show information regarding the problems that may occur prior to running the script, as well as a recommendation of what action to take to avoid potential issues. In this case, there are four medium errors detected, but we can proceed with splitting the table. The Sequence tab lists tasks to be executed in the order in which they will occur. Apex SQL Refactor will provide a concise list of actions ordered in such a manner that no dependencies will be broken when the actual table is split. Dependent objects appear under the Dependencies tab, which lists all the objects that refer to the table to be split. The Split Table feature provides a detailed preview of what is affected by splitting the table and how the process will be executed. You can perform analysis in detail if needed, or you can simply split the table by selecting the Create Script button and running the generated script. The dialog is closed and the split table script is opened in a new query window. Finally, let's split the employees table by executing the newly created script. After the table is split, let's refresh the tables in the Object Explorer. As you can see here, a new table is created. Now let's check the select statement for both tables to verify that the split is done as we planned. Open a new query window and run the two statements. As you can see, we excluded the salaried flag column from the original table, and it's now listed only in the newly created employee info table. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.